Many people struggle with hair issues. It can be anything from age-related thinning to genetics, lifestyle, hormones, or even medical problems. This hair loss can show up as bald patches, a receding hairline, or less volume overall, and it can really hurt your self-esteem and confidence. For many women, hair is a big part of being feminine. It's both personal and something everyone sees, so any changes in how it looks can bring up a lot of emotions. This is why women often do things like cut, straighten, curl, bleach, dye, and even use harsh chemicals on their hair. Hair thinning can be a frustrating experience. But did you know that hormone deficiencies can be the primary culprit? In fact, hormones play a significant role in not just the growth and thickness of your hair, but also its shedding and fall. In fact, studies show that hormonal imbalances cause up to 50% of hair loss cases in men and 30% in women. In this video, let's learn which hormones are related to hair health, how their deficiencies cause hair thinning or hair fall, and how common these hormonal deficiencies are. So stay tuned and let's get started. It's natural to lose 50 to 100 hair strands per day. However, studies show that roughly 70% of men experience excessive hair loss and thinning by the age of 70 and 50% of women by age 50. Thin, dry hair isn't just an aging or stress issue, it's often a sign of underlying hormonal imbalances. Here are some of the hormones whose deficiency can cause hair thinning and eventually hair fall. Number 1. Stress Hormones Forget just feeling burnt out, stress can seriously harm your hair. Research backs this up, showing that chronic stress can trigger a whopping 70% of your actively growing hair follicles to enter a resting phase leading to visible hair loss and thinning. When stressed, your body prioritizes fight-or-flight response by diverting essential resources, like oxygen-rich blood away from non-essential activities like hair growth. Stress, particularly prolonged or chronic stress, can also increase inflammation in your body, further damaging hair follicles. In fact, a 2020 study shows that increased stress hormones like cortisol significantly impaired hair follicle growth by up to 40%. Moreover, many women think that stress-related hair loss only affects women going through menopause. But the fact is that it can affect younger women too. In fact, a 2019 study shows that women in their 20s and 30s are equally susceptible to stress-induced hair thinning, affecting as many as 30% of women in this age group. And if you are experiencing sudden hair loss without regrowth, you might be facing telogen effluvium a condition triggered by stress that prematurely pushes hair into the resting phase. This can create a vicious cycle. Hair loss adds to stress, which worsens hair loss, and so on. Seeking medical help is crucial for proper diagnosis and treatment. A 2023 study shows that managing stress through meditation and yoga reduced hair loss in stressed individuals by up to 25%. Additionally, a 2022 review in the British Journal of Dermatology noted that addressing nutritional deficiencies caused by stress can significantly improve hair health. Number 2. Thyroid Hormone Your thyroid gland, a butterfly-shaped organ in your neck, controls your metabolism, influencing everything from energy levels to mood and, yes, even your hair growth, too. But when this gland malfunctions, hair loss isn't the only concern. When your thyroid hormone levels are low, also known as hypothyroidism, your body prioritizes essential functions, leaving hair and skin on the back burner. This results in dry, brittle, thinning locks, and in severe cases, even eyebrow hair loss. A 2022 study shows that about 32% of people with hypothyroidism experience hair loss. On the flip side, too much thyroid hormone, also known as hyperthyroidism or overactive thyroid, can also lead to hair loss. It can cause anxiety, sleep issues, and hair thinning, affecting around 50% of individuals with an overactive thyroid. Both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism come with a number of unpleasant symptoms. Hypothyroidism can leave you feeling tired, sluggish, and down, while hyperthyroidism might make you anxious, restless, and sleep-deprived. The good news? A simple blood test can help diagnose these issues, and thyroid hormone therapy often works wonders. In fact, a 2022 study shows that treatment with thyroid hormone therapy significantly improved hair growth in patients with hypothyroidism, 
with participants experiencing an average increase of 35% in hair density over the course of the study. This highlights the potential of early diagnosis and treatment in preventing and reversing hair loss associated with hypothyroidism. Number 3. Gender-Specific Hormones Gender-specific hormones including testosterone in men and estrogen in women play a significant role in regulating hair growth and health. They bind to receptors on hair follicles, influencing their growth cycle. Testosterone promotes growth in men, while estrogen supports healthy hair in women. When these hormones are imbalanced, they can disrupt the hair growth cycle, leading to hair loss. In men, testosterone stimulates hair growth, and a deficiency can weaken hair follicles, making them thinner and more prone to falling out. A 2022 study in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology found that men with low testosterone experienced hair loss at a rate of 58%, compared to 20% in those with normal levels. Moreover, dihydrotestosterone, or DHT for short, is a derivative of testosterone and plays a complex role in hair growth. In some cases, high DHT levels can contribute to male pattern baldness, affecting approximately 50% of men in the U.S. by age 50. In women, estrogen supports healthy hair growth and maintenance. As women approach menopause, natural estrogen levels decline, which can contribute to hair thinning and shedding. A 2023 study in the British Journal of Dermatology reported that women with low estrogen levels had hair loss rates 35% higher than those with normal levels. Plus, certain hormone-specific conditions like PCOS and thyroid disorders can also disrupt hormone balance and lead to hair loss in women. Number 4. Insulin While typically associated with blood sugar control, insulin and insulin resistance play a surprisingly complex role in hair health affecting both men and women. Studies show that insulin resistance may increase hair loss risk by 25 to 38 percent compared to individuals with normal insulin sensitivity. Besides that, insulin resistance can also trigger inflammation, cause other hormonal imbalances, and nutrient deficiencies, all of which can negatively impact hair health. High insulin levels, which can also happen when you have insulin resistance, can directly affect hair follicle growth and survival. In fact, a 2020 study shows that high insulin levels in women with PCOS were associated with a 52% higher risk of hair loss. As for men, a 2021 study shows that men with male pattern baldness had 32% higher insulin resistance levels compared to those without. But remember that hair loss is complex and can be caused by various factors beyond just insulin and sexual hormones. Always consult a healthcare professional for a proper diagnosis and personalized treatment plan. They can assess your individual situation, identify any underlying hormonal imbalances, and recommend appropriate treatment options to address your specific hair loss concerns. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.